plastic peeps. What's up, plastic junkie back from outside. It's snowing like crazy. You don't want to see. There you go. Winter in Montreal. Crap. That's all I can say. More lighting for your peeps as I listen to you. And this is a video of about 20 minutes. My finds of the second week to third week on November. First I got off a friend of mine. This replica lifesaver of the toy version. Made of resin, plastic, exactly like on Big Bang Theory. You see there? Uh, very hard, not wood. Very, very... Not heavy, but pretty cool. You know, zzz, zzz. Uh, this is exactly like the 1977 uh, Star Wars action figures, three inch, three quarters, five points of articulation, dark Vader lightsaber. It looks exactly like this, but just for adults. Just for, I don't know if about, it has these little three little dots, but you know what? I like it. I give it a five on five. It's pretty cool. It is not wood at all. It's resin, plastic, like the one on Big Bang Theory when they made the, their own action figures with the plastic. This is what it is. This is what exactly what it is. Beautiful. Put that down. What else I found of Star Wars? Star Wars, I found some small Star Wars figures off a friend of mine. I found uh, Attack of the Clones uh, Jungle Fat, mint on card. I found, uh, what else? Hold on. Okay. I found here uh, a small, well, Saga, Star Wars Saga Legends Snow Trooper, pretty cool with that. I like it. I'm not big, a big Star Wars fan, but I do like certain characters uh, to put with my, my old Star Wars figures. What else is Star Wars? I found here uh, Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. Pretty cool. I'm gonna t crack them all open and put them in my Star Wars collections. Yeah, pretty cool. I also found uh, some G.I. Joes. There's not many of them. There's two. There's uh, Cobra Commander. And then there's uh, Snake Eyes. Yeah, from G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. It's for, good, uh, for superheroes, there's Crossbones, number 10. Pretty rare. Uh, he goes for a pretty penny now. And for... Uh, the good guys, it's Steve Rogers, number 21, series 3 of Marvel Universe. Pretty cool with that stuff. Another uh, Cobra Commander. Then I have some Batmobiles. Bat Batman Returns Bat, uh, Bat Missile. Pretty cool. Mint on box. And the Dark Knight Batmobile. These are a little bit harder to come by now because they came out a pretty long time ago. Uh, they came out in 2009. Pretty cool. Then, for loose figures, my friend, the same friend, Richard, a uh, Portuguese guy, he made uh, his own version of uh, a green monkey out of uh, Gorilla Grog, out of small figures that are from uh, for, toy, for kids. <laughs> and... Um, Pretty cool. I'm just gonna clean them up. I'm gonna put them with my uh, Green Lantern figures or my, with my Beast Boy. He had to be pretend it's Beast Boy, so you can tell it's painted, hand painted. Even that I feel the paint on it. There was a, a loose Incredible Hulk which I don't have, with a little mechanism in the back. I really uh, uh, like this Hulk. I give it a five on five. The paint job of that uh, Gorilla Grodd into a Beast Boy monkey version. I give it a four on five. This I like. I'm gonna keep it. Then I found uh, some other loose figures, a Colossus, pretty nice, 5 inch, the pink version of Cannonball from X-Men, uh, Samson from X-Men, uh, from, X -Men, from uh, the, the Incredible Hulk line, hold on, just gonna put the light a little bit more towards there, oh yeah, much better. I, I also have one of the girl the girl from uh, the Green Lantern uh, line, which is she's for, for part of the Indigo line, just missing her staff and her stand, which is pretty cool. I have a Captain America, which is still in the bag. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. 
with a shield, a five inch, inch one, five points. And it's all five points of articulation. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points of articulation set up for the, the wrist, the waist. Uh, the shield doesn't fit on him. His little, there's something that goes here. It's a rubber band that goes around it. It's pretty hard to sometimes get them complete and in perfect shape. But I give this figure pretty cool. A pretty cool home. I'll just put the shield on, on, uh, on the shelf like this. Who cares? What are we in? Yeah, five. Okay, it's perfect. Also, from the line of Justice League, I found this is from the five pack, Marsh Manhunter, five inch. And there's also a light up Black Star. Hold on, let me make the spark with there. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. Missing everything. Missing his trobit and his sword and uh, the holster. Mimi didn't have a holster. No, this one doesn't come out of holster. This is a second series. And a small venom, very tiny little metal venom. Pretty cool. We're six minutes, that's perfect. This we don't need. I'm gonna put these back in there. I've collected a lot of things over the years. And uh, when I find a good bargain on any store, especially Value Village, or uh, anywhere that I find things that are worth it to pick up, I definitely pick them up and I put them aside just for myself. I don't try to resell them because I'm a type of person that I see something I like at a good price, I keep it and I don't resell it. I find that people are always negative when people buy things and resell them on eBay or shows it's not being negative it's just being smart with your money like I sell stuff so I could buy more stuff from my personal collection like I buy things like this you see sorry that's Dawn came out in 20 2007 and it was he painted this in 2004 or something and this is stuff that I put on my wall of prints. Yeah, I like it. Out of that loose collection was also a Diamond Select Widow. You could tell that it's Black Widow because she has the hourglass on her belt. And I thought it was Jean Grey, but it's not because of the bracelet too. No accessories. And I don't know who this is. So if any of you know who this figure from NECA is, I know it's NECA, please let me know, okay? Then my friend, Jason, a Portuguese friend, a really nice guy, he got this on Evil Bay, on eBay, and I paid good money for it, but it's one of the characters from the Red Lanterns from the Blackest Night series. The wings are from um, House of M Human Torch, a four pack with the Thing, Hulk, and Iron Man. Iron Man, I sold them a long time ago. I still have my Mint Loose Complete, and the Hulk and the Thing or they call them it. Uh, I love this figure, the way it's made. You can see the ring is right on, on, on the finger there. He put the hands of a, of, a, of, a, of a giant tarantula. It's really cool, the wings are pretty cool. The, the creature itself, I don't remember the name, but this is gonna go in my red lanterns. The body itself, it's the, it's the regular Mattel uh, body for these figures. You could alternate and put all kinds of heads on if you, if you imagine what you could do. Uh, my friend the Scorpion 72 did the same thing and I just buy these at about between 60 to to $100 each. I'm not joking. These are something I put in my personal collection. What I like about loose figures is they're easy to display. So some of these loose figures I'm going to keep. Definitely I want to keep her. I, I don't know what who she is. I, I, she looks like someone from Charmed. I hope it's up from Twilight because I really like the paint job and I really like NECA figures. NECA figures are beautiful. They are just perfectly better than what McFarlane used to do back in the 90s with his Movie Maniacs. I found his Movie Maniacs figures, they always broke. And I don't understand why people do that. Like, why continue buying a collection when you know that the figures are gonna, they're not in great shape and they easily break? I just decide not to buy them. Okay, the mint figures, oh, actually, when I was at uh, Value Village, I found a Just For Last uh, character, plush, not expensive. 
These things go for crazy money on Evil Bay for like 20 US and up. Why? Because you only get it in Montreal, Canada. That's it, in Canada only. Uh, I like little plushes, like if I know it sounds like for you, but you're not a kid. But you know what? A plush, if it's a Garfield of this, it's pretty cool. Like South Park plushes, I have a lot of them, but to finish the set, forget about it. I give this a 5 on 5. He's staying in my collection. This is the Black Dahlia Murder. Uh, a, a, a homage to Mad Balls. This was exclusive only to the show when the Black Dahlia Murder band made this. And we're super, super, super limited. This thing is worth between $20 to $50 US. Really well detailed. They didn't make a lot of them very hard to come by only only if you saw them at a concert and they came to Fufun Electric here in Montreal Canada Quebec uh, Montreal Quebec Canada and my friend that works for Fuf he got me one pretty cool this I give it a, a hundred on five I put this in my collection now we're going to the mint figures and then I'm going to show you what I found the value village at the end it's a big piece the mint figures I found recently was from a friend of mine again Richard a Superman Batman mint on card Superman himself. Two Star Wars figures that came out in the 90s. Luke Skywalker, you can move the little thing, pretty cool. Still packaged. There's the Boba Fett, Dark Vader, the C3PO, there's many in this set, I don't remember all. I don't know them all. That's pretty cool too. Well, the dust is free. What else is new? There's a, a Ben Kenobi here. There's also Princess Leia, Stormtrooper, and Han Solo in the back. And here, like I said, those other ones. It's a big set. Uh, I like these figures, even though I'm not, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. It's just that the articulation is... I just like the packaging of it. I like the way it looks. And I like that they're easy to display on a shelf. That's it. That's all I like about them. Next, I have some 5-inch figures. This is a pretty rare one from J JLA. It only came out at uh, Toys R Us or KB back in the 90s from Hasbro. The back of it is, they always had nice, uh, really, really nice artwork. I like the drawings. This, you cut it off and you put it on the stand and you put the, uh, the, uh, the stand, you put the, the cutout on the stand where it says JLA and then you can put the figure on the stand. It has holes. The two, the three rarest one from this set is Wonder Woman, Adam, the, the Adam, and Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle came more articulated. More like this from the faint five pack. Then they made a few of them just straight like this without weird poses. They're not that articulated too. They're more five points of articulation. All of them are five points of articulation. And that's it. But I have this line. I have him loose. He's a rare figure, especially in the package. He goes between 25 and up on Evil Bay. Uh, it's not a figure that you easily come find. But you could find it if you, if you be patient. Next, I have Steel from that line, the same thing. He's a pretty, not that rare, but like I said, the Wonder Woman, the Adam, and the, and the Blue Beetle that comes in a two-pack with uh, Killer Shark is really beautiful. This one, it's eh. I like it, I have it already, and his hammer doesn't stay well in the sand. Next, the Superboy, the Young Justice. They made also uh, these figures. They made the Impulse and Robin, which are all look like this. They look like they're taking a... They're okay. They, they started from this line. This is where it started, from the, the Total Justice line. Then it went to the five packs, and then it went to this line, JLA. But they're all the same collection. Green Arrow, nice figure. Then I have some six inch figures. I have the first appearance, Batgirl. Beautiful figure, still mint on card. I have some, the rest, are, I have some more DCs. I'll first show you the DC ones. I have Mr. Terrific. Mint on card, and I have uh, what's his name, uh, Ooh. Doctor Midnight. Mint on card. This is a JSL JSA line. Uh, the Hawk Girl is beautiful. They also made a Hawkman from this line. Gorgeous figures. I, I like them a lot. I have my own set, and I just get new figures from Marvel. Oh, the last, the last here. Here's a San Diego Comic Con International Star Wars Obi Wan and Yoda. This was hard to come by. It goes for good monies now on Evil Bay, but it's just going to be something I'm going to crack open because I want the coin. From Marvel, I have X-Men Classics. 
Ninja Wolverine, beautiful figure. Then I have Yellow Jack with the build a figure for the blob, one of the hands. Beautiful, nice figure. Yellow Jack is getting harder and harder to come by. Banshee 2, it's from build An 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 Anahelis. Anahelis, yeah. This one comes with one of the wings. Nice figure too. Huge wing, huge build a figure. The last five pieces I have. Uh, Spider Woman with the head of Mo 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 Mondor. Wait, Mordok, Mordok, to make Mordok. Pretty cool figure, still sealed. The rarest one, this is the, uh, the, 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 the variant of Wolverine with removable cow. The original one comes with the cow on it, like that, you can see. This comes with the leg of Apocalypse, the left one. Pretty f rare figure, it goes for a lot of money, this on Evo Bay. Especially Canadian packaging, these are Canadian packaging. Then I have the variant of Loki with the small horns. Again, this one goes for uh, evil, evil money on Evil Bay. Not as much as the Wolverine ones. This is the Onslaught line. I never liked the Onslaught. I kept the figures, but I never made the Onslaught. I sold my Onslaught a long time ago. And second to last, I have an, um, an amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man Classics, which when they, this is when they first started making these figures in the early 90s. Toy Biz were still making them. And last but but not least, like creme de la creme, this is what I found at a value village. A giant X-wing that's all plastic. The kid was wants to wanted to hang it from uh, from the ceiling. I paid not a lot for it. Good money. It's a big piece. It's a piece that I'm gonna hang from my ceiling. It's plastic. The nothing moves. Everything. It doesn't open up. It's like a, a kit that you put together. Plus junky out. Thank you for watching my finds for the second and third week of November. We're November 20th. More to come in the last week of November because I'm going to go to a Comic-Con show called Mini Comic-Con in the end of November. Stay plastic, collect for life, and happy hunting at anywhere you go, in the States or around the world. Cheers, my peeps.